Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment. We're at Soko Auditorium here today with Brock and Adam Corvus. Guys, what's going on? Not much, man. Just uh, all over the United States with Mushroom Head and Head PE. It's good times. You guys are on the Head to Head 3 tour. Yes, so we are. So obviously their first two rounds, they, they did pretty well. Now they picked you guys up for the third time. Huh? Yes, they did. What well, was it like getting the news that you're on this tour? Oh, it was exciting. This is our first tour. We're the little baby kids out here just right. learning the ropes. And But all the guys have been super sweet to us and made us feel like family. So it's been awesome. Good, good. Comments? You think? Great tour. This too. is just kind of like a dream come true. I've been right. waiting for this uh, since I was you know, 15. So when I heard the news, I was just ecstatic. And, uh, I haven't had a blast so far. So. Good, good. Yeah, I mean, it's an awesome show. I mean, they were here uh, just about a year ago today and uh, put on an awesome show, and I'm sure you guys will do the same tonight. Uh, Corvus, a unique name. What uh, is kind of the meaning behind that? Uh, it's actually Latin for like a raven or a crow, which, you know, is all symbolic for death and all that stuff. But I actually was just a 15 year old little kid looking things up on the internet. Yeah. Cool different names. It's actually a star constellation. And I just wrote it down in a book. Somebody in high school got tired of saying your band, and he looked through my book and went, Corvus, I'm going to start calling you that, and it's stuck. There you go. So it's working for you guys? It is. As a band, how long have you guys kind of been around in the scene? Uh, we've been jamming for maybe five, six years together. So, okay. and, and we've done five albums in three years, which is an insane pace. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, what's what is the process like going through five albums like that within three years? Is it just kind of just keep going kind of thing or what? Yeah, I, I'm the primary writer, and I just kind of because we didn't have a tour opportunity, I just sat in my room and wrote a bunch of stuff and went, guys, I'm bored. Let's make an album. Let's make yeah. an album. And eventually, this last one uh, called Never Forgive gave us the opportunity to come out with these guys. Okay, off of the album Never Forgive. I mean, what? What would you guys say if the fans were checking you guys out for the first time? Probably I'll get a song from each of you guys. What would be a top song that you would want to listen to first and kind of get your guys' vibe going? Well, we are kind of a different band. We have a wide variety of sound. If they're Mushroom Head fans, I would say One Man Army because it's pretty heavy and brutal. And that seems to be what these crowds are into. Okay, okay. How about you? Uh, more for uh, radio play, more for uh, just a broader audience, I'd say a song called Breakdown. Okay. Yeah, it's a good drinking song. There you it's go. Good all around. Have fun. fun. Song, have yeah. fun. That's good. That's good. That's what the fans are out there to do is have fun. That come to the shows and that's all they want to do is have exactly. fun with you guys. Exactly. So, um, I, other than that, I mean, like I told you guys, we're doing what uh, we call this BSE box. We've been doing it for a little while now. Fans have found Backstage Entertainment on Facebook and liked us. And uh, you guys, we actually did a contest recently on our page to get new questions in here. And you guys are the first ones to answer the new questions. Oh, wow. So awesome. Take a toll on you here. You're first up. Let's we'll see what you get. Oh, this is a good one. This this one actually won the contest with the craziest question we asked. So go ahead. Oh wow! I don't even know who these chicks are. Oh really? Honest. Okay, Eva Mendez, Jessica Simpson, Megan Fox. Kill one, screw one, marry one. Go. We'll just. It, it's hard if you don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this. We'll go in order. Okay, I'll, I'll... Eva Mendez. Do you, do you remember the movie Hitch? No. I don't okay. watch anything. Man. You guys are well. You guys are out on the road touring, so it's like you you probably don't have time for a lot of this. What's she look like? What color hair? Uh, darkish, brunettish, yep. So, Jessica Simpson. I'll, I'll screw her, I'll kill Jessica Simpson. Okay. Megan Fox Megan off Mary Transformers, her. of course. I guess I'll marry her. Okay, there you go. Alright, let's try it over here. Alright. Where's the craziest place you've had to sleep while on tour? You just got up from a nap, you were telling us. <laughs> yeah, and I was actually just sleeping on the floor uh, right next to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, Getting kicked every time someone had to use a pisser. So. Is that up there with uh, the top kind of crazy places to sleep, or what is another good one that you probably used to sleep? Um, so I've passed out on a hotel balcony before. Yeah. Mattress is out there, of course. Right. Uh, that's probably the craziest time I've ever woken up. Just okay. Like, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, what's, what's up, huh? Why am I naked? Okay, we'll throw that one back <laughs> in. Let's, we'll get another one from you guys here. Which bands would we love to tour with? Well, we actually got asked that earlier today by our tour manager. Uh, I was a big Metallica fan growing up. I think they're probably too big and, and not like we wouldn't really fit in, but that'd be that'd be really cool. But a band that 
I think we'd fit in well with it's kind of popular right now as Five Finger Death Punch. I yeah. think we'd fit in with them pretty well. Those are awesome group of guys. We had the chance to interview them. Oh, nice. And uh, hopefully we get another chance to come into town here soon. So, yeah, they're a great group of guys. So it'd be an awesome tour with them for sure. All right, we'll get you one more here, and then you guys are probably loading up and everything too to get set yes, up. Yes, sir. In your opinion, what's the greatest advantage to your fame? Uh, honestly, all I've used it so far is to get laid. So. Really? <laughs> I was a band. They yeah, call him Romeo. Everybody <laughs> is calling him Romeo on this tour. Really? It's quite an awesome power. Yeah, there you go. That's it's gotta be crazy. I mean, what's a what's a good fan story when you, I mean, does the girl just come up to you? Hey, you're in that band, and what do you say to him after that? Um, I just usually grab their ass and see how they kind of react to yeah. that. And yeah. They're they're good for it. Then yeah, let's go to my RV. Any angry boyfriends after you've done that? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That part I don't really pay attention to. Yeah, that who cares, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, again, I mean, the tour is just kind of getting going here. Yeah. Uh, how many dates do you think, or when does it go through? What's the date it goes through? Uh, we are scheduled to get off the tour, I think, June 1st in Portland, but there are discussions of us staying on longer, so okay. that's yet to be seen. We would love to stay on though. Yeah, well, regardless, for the fans out there, definitely go check out Corvus. Uh, what's the main place that they can check you guys out? Uh, Facebook.com slash The Real Corvus or ReverbNation.com slash The Real Corvus. Okay, well, once again, look for them on the head to head tour with much head to head PE. Guys, check out Corvus. Right on. Thank you. Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.